notebook on the Van der Waals equation. I'm going to post you more problems. They're coming. On this example, given nitrogen gas, so they're telling you already the substance, you know that the molecular weight is 28 grams per gram. And from the book, I got this critical temperature and this critical pressure. As you can see, this is a lot, this is megapascals. That means 3.39 times 10 to the 6 pascals. They tell you first calculate the factor of correction A and B, which, if you remember, are these guys here and here. The equation is something like this 27 times r to the square power and the critical temperature to the square power, all these divided by 64 times Pc, which is critical pressure, and the molecular weight to the square power. Okay, so doing this, I get this guy right here. And yeah, essentially, you, if you want to check out how everything cancels out, go and check. Now for B, it's easier, R, T, P, C, and M, W. Do it again, and look how it changed these 28 grams per gram to 28 grams per kilo, mol kilogram, okay? So essentially just divide by 1000. And I got this value. So they tell me after calculating the factor A and B, of course the most logical part will be actually use it. So let's use it for a tank that is at 175 Kelvin, that is a negative value if you wanted to check. Will be something about minus 100 Celsius. Uh, with a specific volume was this volume here, so you got also a specific volume. So, if you don't remember the equation we got before, or you don't saw, you didn't see the last video, uh, check it out. We got this equation from the Van der Waals, and if not, I think still it's very easy to calculate. So, let's do it. Let's plug in numbers here, 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 here. I think we have everything. And yes, we have everything. 8.31. I'm using international uh, system in order to cancel everything. I am pretty sure that if you use international system you're going to cancel all the units. Actually look well 1000. Okay yeah everything is plug is plugging correctly. Times okay 8.31 which are this is the specific volume okay 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 this one, this is the temperature, this should be temperature, this is the change, okay, this is my B, this is specific volume, this is my A, and this is my specific volume, and I got this huge number, which if you change it to megapascals, you will get this, which makes uh, sense to me, because we were using, I think, 3.3 .3 megapascals, so this is huge, you will be super pressurized. Actually, I don't know if this will happen, but numerically speaking, this is true, guys. What's up, guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.